I'm with Shlomo the beatboxer again, and I want to find out a bit about, well, how he started doing it. So Shlomo, uh, how old are you now, can I ask? I am 36 years old, I think, yeah. Right, yeah. so yeah. how long have you been beatboxing? Well, do you know what happened? When I was eight years old, yeah. my parents bought me a drum kit for my birthday. Well, do you know what really happened? Should I tell you the whole story? Please do. So it was the night before my eighth birthday, I was so excited, right? And I couldn't sleep because you can't sleep the night before your birthday. And do you know what I heard? I heard my dad come up the stairs. Do, 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 do. I was like, that's weird. I wonder why my dad's coming all the way up the stairs. And then I heard him go, do, 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 do. back down the stairs. I was like, oh, okay, he's probably gone now. I'll just go to sleep. Right? I'm just lying there thinking, I've got to go to sleep. I've got to go to sleep. And then do you know what I heard? Do, 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 do. Why is my dad coming upstairs again? Do, 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 do. He's gone back down. Okay, you know what? I really do need to get to sleep. It's my birthday tomorrow. Just as I'm drifting off, do you know what I heard the third time? Jib, 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 jib. And this time I'm like, I'm gonna have to go out and see what's going on. So I'll go outside to see why my dad keeps going up and down the stairs. And he's holding a drum and he's got a very guilty look on his face. And I suddenly realized I'm getting a drum, a drum kit for my birthday. And do you know what I did? I burst into tears. Why? Because, oh, because I was so happy. Oh, wow. Anyway, in the morning, I couldn't wait. I had to get up super early at like 6 a.m. or something, or however early I kids get up. And I ran all the way downstairs, and there was this shiny drum kit with a bow on it. And what do you think I started doing? <laughs> I started bashing it as loud as I could. And after about two minutes of this, the phone rings, and it's the neighbor saying, excuse me, do you know who's got a drum kit? And they're playing it at 6 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. And from that point forwards, my parents had to be strict about when I could play it. And when could you play it? I think I was allowed to play it after school, but not after 6 p.m. So I'd have about an hour, an hour and a half, maybe, to do my practice. But that's not enough, Michael. The rhythm's coming out of me day and night. So that's when I started using my voice instead. So um, this was a full drum kit. Oh, so man, it was Three, glorious. four pieces with like the cymbals. Five drums, cymbals, glossy <laughs> red <laughs> thing. <laughs> that sort of thing. And you know what? What you just did there was basically what I had to do, because I wanted to practice my rhythms and I couldn't use my drums because it would annoy the neighbours, so I'd be all like... <laughs> yeah, so I had these little noises I'd make. Uh, and were you doing this in your bedroom? Is it, or where, yeah, just walking yeah, about, in, in the bedroom, car? in the bedroom, walking about, in the car, in the, in the shower. Lots of people beatbox in the shower. So I do the show for kids and I always ask everyone if they've ever beatboxed before, and for some reason not everyone's hands go up. I'm like, you do in the shower, don't you? And they're like... <laughs> and is that because it's a very clear sound, because you get that sharpness it's, and a little bit of echo? It's like the perfect sound chamber, like reverberation and, and also privacy. You've got your own space in the shower. Yes, you can yeah. express yourself in the shower, yeah. can't you? And you've got like a kind of bed of sound of the shower behind. Yeah, <laughs> get some white noise going exactly, on as well. Exactly. Mm, that's good. Yeah, lovely. So you built that up and mm. then you just walked about doing it and then were you doing it in the playground like, with your friends and stuff? Not really. I only really did it for myself as a way to practice like my drums until I was a bit older when I was a teenager and other people would heard me do it and they were like, what are you doing? That sounds really good. And I was like, mm, what? Okay, I didn't really think it was for anyone else. Yeah, and, and you can't do GCSE in it, can you? No, you can do it now. What, GCSE and beatboxing? Well, you can do it as part of your music GCSE. Ah, oh, right, yeah. But you couldn't when I was, when I was a teenager. Right. But yeah, I used to do these, like, because uh, I grew up in the 90s, and in the 90s there was this type of music coming out called Garage, which was the, the big thing at the time, and it was like this. <laughs> I used to do that. What's that you're doing in your okay, throat so there? <laughs> What's that you're doing there? So you know I taught you the kick earlier, the, yeah. the P. <laughs> so this one's a different type of kick that you just go. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> no, I can't do it. How do I teach you that? I've never had to teach this before. <laughs> you imagine like, <laughs> imagine, there's, imagine there's a drum stuck inside your throat and you're not letting it out. It's a sort of snake look. <laughs> it looks like you've just swallowed a, like a, a hedgehog or something. Yeah. Am I doing it? No, yeah, you're doing it. Now I go. <laughs> Sounds like I've got indigestion. I'm not doing it very well, am I? <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> no. What did you do after the. <laughs> That's so good. I love it. <laughs> so you turn into like a human. That's, well, that's why they call it human beatbox, because you're kind of doing the sound of like a drum machine or, or a beatbox, but you're a. Well, how, did you, what did you, how did you teach yourself to do that? You just. I, don't, I actually don't know. Like now, you yeah. can learn. There's like 
I've got lessons on YouTube. There's loads of other lessons on YouTube. Um, you can go remember to like, this, folks. You can find him elsewhere on YouTube. You can learn at school. You can go to. We do like um, the Beatbox Academy in South London, which grows people from you know young kids all the way up into professional performers. Wow. Um, it's a, it's a big culture now. You can enter and the can UK you... Beatbox Championships, and you can enter the World Beatbox Championships. Have you done that? Um, I was the guy who set it up, so I never got to enter. But. Oh. That That's also terrible. means I never got to lose. I probably would have lost, so I'm happy to be <laughs> undefeated. <laughs> and are you allowed to use your hands? Are you allowed to do kind of, sort of well, any sounds like that? Do you do any of that? You're allowed to do whatever you want. There's no rule, yeah. but like, there's loads of noises you can make, isn't there? Yeah, a little freestyle for you. And do you ever use do you ever use your like, body as well? Body percussion is a close relative, I guess. I've not really learned that much about it. Have you just done have a No, I haven't. Just used... I like the way you're challenging me to learn. This no, is no, fun. it's just it's given cool. that we've got all these resources. I mean, you know, if you think right. about it, you put your hand under there, just do that. I mean, you've even mm. got that, haven't you? I mean, you could get that going, couldn't you, as well? I mean, should that we would do, be... Should we do a little beatbox and arm pitch? Okay, so I'll see if I can keep the rhythm going here. So it's a one, two, a one, two, three, and... Yes, Not there bad. we go. Send Actually, you don't want queen, to do that, mate. That's a bit wet, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, very yeah, that's good. It. That's a new art so, form we yeah, just created. So we've got fart box. <laughs> yeah. Now, it would be great if you subscribed. That is, you become a subscriber. Look out for the subscribe button. What happens, you see, is that I make new vids every few months, and then I post them up one a week for a while. So if you subscribe, you get to see the new ones just as they come hot off the press.